A family is still searching for answers one year later tonight. Family and friends are now coming together for a candlelight vigil for Kimberly Avila. CBS 4 Stephen Seely is in downtown Brownsville awaiting for the vigil to start. Stephen, we're a year removed from when Kimberly first went missing, so what's happened since? Well, Avila's disappearance is still under investigation and tonight's candlelight vigil here in downtown Brownsville is to show that the community is still involved in finding out what happened to Avila. Now, the last time CBS4 did an update, we told you that the South Texas Equality Project raised the reward money for Avila's return to $3,000. Now, earlier I spoke with step board president Oscar Lopez and he believes that more should be done and the community shouldn't forget Kimberly. He asked, he asked for more to be done because, quote, this is someone's missing child and she needs to be brought home. Avila went missing in downtown Brownsville in the area of downtown Brownsville May 12th last year. In a statement, Kimberly's sister Yvonne Rotarte said, quote, we need the Brownsville Police Department to step up or move aside and let the community leaders that are trusted hold a gathering for information. Now, I did reach out to the Brownsville Police Department before showtime and did not receive a response, but the candlelight vigil starts tonight at 630 here at Market Square, so please, please be sure to come out and support. Now, coming up at CBS 4 Valley tonight, you'll hear from Kimberly's family as well as the step board president, Oscar Lopez, on what can be done to gain some progress. Live in Brownsville with complete Valley coverage, Stephen Seeley, CBS 4 Valley at 6.